on the old SAT, this is the kind of question that really is for the advanced, like top scoring students. And if you are one of those people, you might just know the answer right away. It's going to be zero. The number of real solutions for this is zero because if we square something, no matter what it is, it's going to become positive, right? So the left side of this equation has to be positive because even if it's a negative number in those parentheses, it gets squared. It becomes positive. Negative times a negative is a positive. So it's impossible for that positive to equal the negative 4 that we have on the right side. It will not happen. It is a fundamental problem of exponents that, that this makes this impossible. And so there are zero solutions. It's impossible. So in the past, old SAT, that's a difficult concept. There's Notice there's not a lot of work here, but it's conceptually very hard. Unless you're really comfortable with algebra, that kind of thinking is really weird for you. And even the wording of this question seems really scary. But on the new test, when we have a calculator, a graphing calculator, I think everyone can get this. Because all we have to do is graph this thing. And, and obviously, you would graph it on the actual calculator, but I'll just show you. This is going to be a quadratic. If we graph this left side, it's going to be a quadratic with a, uh, a single solution at 1. Okay, It's not a really good one, but there it is. So it's going to look like this. And your graphing calculator will look like this. And then where's negative 4? Well, it's all the way down here. Right? So this is negative 4. Uh-oh. Do they ever cross? No. So there you go, no solutions. There's no intersection between these two things. So that's, that's it, you've proven it visually. So if you're not super confident on those conceptual ideas, we're going to be able to much more easily visualize things now that we have the calculator for both sections. So this is still very much in line with all of the strategies I've always advocated for on the math section is don't do algebra. Don't think about things conceptually, it's risky. Here, it was fine, but it could be risky in other situations. We are much better off visualizing and seeing it. And if we have a graphing calculator with us at all times, now we can visualize new types of things on the new SAT. If you hate math, you're going to love the new SAT because it's going to be better than the current version for giving you more ways to think about math. So maybe the, the part of your brain that hates math in school, it'll do really well on these different versions of the SAT where we can do this kind of visual stuff. I'm excited for it. It's going to make my life as a teacher much easier to be able to teach things in multiple ways.